Hey Gearfacts friends, today I am unboxing a Casio SA21 mini key size keyboard. I would estimate this is from about 1988, judging by the presence of new kids on the block. Okay, let the unboxing begin. Okay, well, as you may have already guessed, this isn't a genuine first time unboxing. This one has been in storage for a couple of decades, and clearly it's been used because as the sticker notes on the keys, here we have the original manual. Surprisingly long, because this is a very simple board, as we're about to see. The all-important instruction book, and the all-er-important New Kids on the Block songbook. You really have to take a moment to appreciate this. We've got a 1980s male hairdresser. A guy has got no idea why he's in the picture. This guy is recovering from a life-threatening operation. This guy just hates being there. And this appears to be a lady with a nice smile who's probably the government appointed carer for the rest of them. Basic piano sound. I've got to admit, that's a better piano sound than I expected, but a lot of white noise hiss comes through as you play a note. You can probably make that out quite easily. Let's see what the electric piano is like. Oh, it makes quite a harsh clapping sound as you press functions. Okay, and then we've got to try the jazz organ. Well, that does not sound jazzy at all. No. But there are a couple of other organ sounds. No, that's even worse. Church organ. Alright, that's acceptable. After that, there's a large selection of sounds that you probably wouldn't really bother listening to until you got to the synth section and these appear to be pad sounds and then there are some special effects on the end here. I'll move it across a little bit. Special effects that are really quite fun. Let's start with synth piano because that's sound number 50 halfway through the list. That's actually nicer than the default piano. Synth guitar if you want to try something that's pretty much guaranteed disappointment. Yeah. Actually, it does have a nice tail on it. Interesting. I might just skip back a little and try some of the bass sounds too. This is our default bass sound. Okay, now these pad sounds starting from 60. Oh, ouch, that's harsh. Sample from an FM source, obviously. With a nice tail as well. Now another lovely metallic FM sample. With nice vibrato. Yeah, that's quite a usable one, I like that. Pretty cool. It's also interesting that you can play a couple of sounds, then change, and 
and they'll fade into each other. So the tail of the first sound will blend into the beginning of the new sound. So you could change in the middle of a song and it would still sound quite natural. I don't know how many of you are ever going to need to do that with an SA21, but it's nice to know the feature is there. This one has aftertouch, believe it or not. A familiar Casio sound and never a pleasant one. kind of slice to it and some raindrops with a bit of aftertouch again or is it oh no the aftertouch only works if you release quickly and if you hold the key down you just get that first droplet sound but with a quick release you get a bit of delay and a bit of sustain So those notes were all actually quite far apart, and yet there was very little chromatic distance between each note. This is the top note, bottom note. It doesn't even extend a full octave apart, so the notes are kind of compressed together, it's a bit strange. That's kind of cool. Again, no chromatic difference between each key as far as I can tell. Yeah, it's the same sound effect every time, but a good one. two notes on the whole keyboard. That note and that note. A nice little arpeggio there called computer sound. We've got drum pads as well. These actually feel quite good on the finger, it's surprising. Terrible sounds individually but it is fun to play and the bass drum is quite bassy. Just moving past the tone select buttons, we've got more buttons for master control, I suppose. Volume, buttons up and down, that's kind of annoying, although it does give you an idea with that sound effect of how loud or soft you're going to be. By default, it starts really loud, just annoying. Then our tempo up and down there. Here, we've got select for accompaniment, so what we do there... And I'm just guessing here because there are a list of styles along each key, but I have a feeling we're going to press select and maybe hold it down, and I'm gonna to go to 16 beat two. Oh, and it starts immediately. And it is indeed a 16 beat, so stop. Here's a closer look at the accompaniments, and some of them are very annoying. As I press the select button here, we've got, for example, Orient. Oh, and that's just corny and annoying. There's Jungle as well. Not what I expected, but it is actually quite pleasant. And then at the end, of course, we've got things like Bossa Nova and Waltz, which nobody ever, ever wants to hear. On the back here, we've got power in and a headphone socket, and underneath, an option to use it with five AA batteries. So, the SA21, how could you use this? It is undeniably a fun device to use. It's got some really stupid and quite entertaining sounds there, and one or two that I would even dare to say are quite usable, so... In a larger setup, this might make a useful little sound effects machine or a machine that adds a little bit of humour to your performance. I guess it all depends on what you're looking for. If you're like me, you just love keyboards. Anyway, that's my detailed review and demonstration of the Casio SA21. Please share with other Casio lovers and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Gear Facts. And finally, no signal.